do you do when you do not feel hurt? Specifically, what do you do when you want get, to get ink on your skin and you're not sure that you're understood because ink is there forever. So in my case, I um, discussed what I wanted. I, I did so with uh, Junior in this case, he made the drawings lately and he showed me the drawing he made and I said, no, this is not what I want. I want the original drawing, which has been made by uh, a musician. He drew it on my arm, literally. And I said, that's what I want. And um, today I returned, even though I, I sent him some updates and he had just ignored it. So I said, no. This is not what I want. But this time, um, Senior was present too, because he was going to work on me. And he understood what I meant. So he started working on it and he had Junior working on it. And the result was amazing. It was gorgeous. So um, when you do not agree, don't leave it. You know, speak your mind, show what it is. That's what I did at first. You know, I went there and I told him, this is what I want. And when I returned, I did so again. Then today, um, I, I, I did it again. So each time I added information, but sometimes if one party doesn't listen, then you need the other one. You, know, you need the support from the one who does understand. And in this case, that was John Senior. And um, um, yeah, I I I believe that it does help to do give praise for what does work. Like yes, that that's amazing. Oh, look at this, great job. You know, because it's 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 a fine line between having someone feel annoyed. And like, well, I'm not sure if he was annoyed, but he certainly looked annoyed. So I actually said to him, uh, am I the worst customer ever, you know, being crit critical and all? And he said, I uh, reserved the, <laughs> the right to remain silent, which was kind of funny, actually. Um, but then when I got to sit down and knowing that, that senior actually made the differences I needed. It was such a joy to be in that chair and see senior work on it. It was, you know, I, I, I had a smile, a huge smile on my face during the whole process. And I was able to relax and just enjoy it. And right now I'm still enjoying it. And uh, in so many years, I'll still be enjoying it. So just to show you what I'm talking about, it's this. And that flower was uh, written on my arm with permanent marker uh, by a musician. He's also called John. So we're talking about three Johns in this story. And... Um, the arm itself represents my new life. So basically that started the end of November 2018 when I got my second surgery on my ankle. That happened on a Monday. Thank you, Dr. Van Dalen. She, she was the one who operated on me. And two days later, the dead daisies were performing in Zoetermeer where I was staying. And I've been a fan from, uh, of, of John Karabi for I don't know how long. Uh, got to meet multiple friends through him because we all were present, you know, at those concerts. And yeah, so they, they, uh, it started with, with Doug, actually the guitar player, uh, putting a heart on my hand because um, me and Stella, another uh, fan and friend, we uh, were supposed to say that we thought he sucked playing guitar. And I was like, what? 
anyway I did and she did and he was happy so he drew a heart on my hand and that was the first start of um yeah I guess what's supposed to be uh, is, is going to be an inner sleeve of my arm um yeah so he actually signed it later on so then um some some hugs were added with a smiley face and then i saw the bass player he he drew something on there too and then uh john Kurabi, the singer he joined and he drew something as well and now a few years later um that one is actually <laughs> put in ink on my skin yeah i don't know it took almost two years due to corona you know um and the cool thing is um some wings have been added which actually represent the dead daisies and underneath is a banner which is um which says make some noise so that that song is actually the third song which really gets to wake me up and what i love about it is is it, it actually represents the concert vibe of us singing along clapping along stamping our feet stamping our feet on the ground you know and that that's basically what we do we, we are totally there when we are listening to the songs and and enjoying the music um so yeah uh, i i had to do some convincing because what's on my arm is not meant to be perfect it's meant to represent those times that i was at a concert because this involves multiple concerts it involves me being able to do more and more each time there was a new concert and um, you know this is also about authenticity this is me i am the one who likes the, the color on my skin, the funny drawings, the stories behind it. And for a while, I, I really got a hard time from other people when I wanted to put ink on my skin. They said, no, you can do it. And you know, then you get the stories about how the body is sacred and should it change it. Well, um, I, I don't believe, for me, that is, in just putting ink on my skin for the sake of putting ink on my skin, even though it's highly addictive, I I want there to be meaning to this. And you know, I'm 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 looking at it um, how how it's looking right now, and I'm not sure. I don't think you you can see it when I'm standing up. So, um, but I can maybe. Let's do this live while you are watching. <coughs> Uh, what I can do is do this. Oh. Um, there's an uh, advantage of having multiple cameras. And hang on, hang on. Don't go away just yet. So this is my arm right now. So I told you about the heart um, oh, you can't see the smiley on there. And then there was the bass player, so it says Marco Love. And then there's the heart, uh, the heart of the flower, which is from John Karabi. And maybe, maybe I can show you the smiley too. I personally love the smiley. But it's a little bit more, a little bit harder to capture. Okay, so here it is. You can see the smiley. <laughs> I should do it like this. Yeah, it, it turns. Anyway, um, I believe that's uh, a duck smiley <laughs> with the long hair. And actually, I, I create those smileys as well. 
so yeah it's um this this what's going to be a sleeve i suppose is is really important to me and don't let others discourage you whether it's changing what you want to be on there or whether it's keeping you from getting it on there totally you know you are you and if it makes you happy and it makes you proud and it shows your story just do it so those were my two cents if you want to look at all of this again um there's also a post on instagram lady lexi's life on the road on the lady lexi's life on the road <laughs> not on the road that's not good on the road um and 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 you can actually see all the pictures of the whole process added to it so um if you say well lexi you're all fine but you know i don't believe it's that easy and by the way i didn't say this was easy find me <laughs>